Hello everybody, I'm Jay Aljong, the fourth author of the paper, Man Endure Emotion for Fake News Detection. It's honorable of me to present our research here today. Firstly, I'm going to describe the task of the paper, Fake News Detection. As the figure shows, given a news piece which generally contains content and its attached comments, our goal is to decide a classifier to judge the news piece as fake or real. When detecting fake news, researchers can leverage anything about the news piece. Usually, we can utilize signals from the content of news, the comments of the readers, the attached images, and other social contacts, contact, such as the publishing platform, the publisher, and the crowd, and the propagation structure of the news. In our paper, we focus on text-based fake news detection, which mainly considering the news content and the crowd comments. Before talking about the idea of our paper, there exists an elementary question that why we should leverage emotions when detecting fake news. According to the existing quantitative analysis, there are distinct distributions of emotional category intensity expressions between fake and real news. And some social scientists point that fake and real news can inspire readers different emotions. What's more, there are also a few fake news detectors that are monitoring the emotional signals. In the earliest study on information credibility evaluation, some sent sentiment-based features have been proven to be effective. Recently, other researchers begin to propose some novel emotion features for fake news detection. To the best of our knowledge, these techniques only focus on the emotions from news content, which we call publisher emotion in this paper, but rarely focus on the emotions of fake news comments aroused in the crowd. However, the literatures of social science indicate that for Spreading in the crowd virally, fake news often evokes high arousal or activating emotions of the crowd. And the crowd's activated emotions are different from those of real news. Therefore, beyond publisher emotion, it's necessary to explore whether emotions of news comments and the relationship between the two emotions are helpful for fake news detection. To describe the two emotions clearly, we define them respectively as publisher emotion, which means the emotions conveyed by publishers of the news pieces, and the social emotion, which means the emotions aroused in the crowd facing to the news piece. And we adopt a dual emotion as a general term of these two emotions. For the news piece, dual emotion has two appearances. When the publisher emotion is the same or similar to the social emotion, there are emotion resonances. On the contrary, when the publisher emotion is different from the social emotion, there are emotion dissonances. After the data observation, we found it that there are some special emotion resonances or dissonances in fake news. For example, here are two cases in Chinese Weibo. The left case in the picture shows a more common resonance of fake news pieces, which the publisher and social emotion are both angry. The content of this fake news fa fabricates an event about the master during a horse demolition, and the publisher conveys its rage with expressions like cooling and disgusting. As a result, the great indication in indignation of the crowd is invoked. Move to the red case, we see that the fake news publisher expresses happiness with exacting and celebrating, while the crowd considers it as a ridiculous news piece and is readily believe so stupid and too naive to express their disgust and contempt to the publisher. And 
the word, this finding indicates that it's very possible that the relationship in dual emotion can be indicative of the news veracity. To check whether it's statistically dependent or not between dual emotion signals and the veracity of news pieces. Firstly, we did a task called the statistical significance test. We constructed two categorical variables, news veracity and dual emotion category. We conducted the text on the three data sets. And the re results of the test show that dual emotion signals are statistically dependent on news veracity. Specifically, we visualize the variable dual emotion category further. Just as the heat maps in the picture, in the heat map, each cell re represents the percentage of news pieces whose dual emotion category is the specific value. And we normalize the percentages for each row, uh, in other words, for each publisher emotion. For example, in the top third fig of A, the upper left cell indicates that among fake news pieces whose published emotion is joyful, the percentage of pieces whose social emotion is also joyful is 85.5%. In the picture, we can see there are distinct emotion resonances and emotion dissonances in fake news from real news. For example, on the English data set, room evil 19, in fake news, the percentage of dual emotion categories that are both joyful and both non are much higher than real news. And the publisher emotion is sad, while the social emotion is joyful, is also higher than real news. This evidence is stronger on the two Chinese data sets. In a conclusion, there are distinct emotion resonances and emotion dissonances in fake news from real news. So the, the dual emotion and their relationship should be considered when monitoring. We model dual emotion signals for fake news detection. We propose dual emotion features, which can leverage publisher emotion, social emotion, and the similarity and difference of the dual emotion. Here is an overall framework of using dual emotion features for fake news detection. It shows the process of obtain, obtaining dual emotion features and integrating them into an existing fake news detector as an enhancement to classify a given piece of news. Here, we take by GRU as an example of fake news detector. Given a news piece, we firstly extract a few emotion features from its content, obtaining published emotion. The specific emotion features are introduced later on. To obtain social emotion, firstly, we need to extract the emotion features from every comment. Next, we can get their average emotional signals by mean pooling and get their extreme emotional signals by max pooling. Finally, we can cut the two by social emotion. To model the resonances and the dissonances of dual emotion, we propose emotion gap. It's designed as the sub subtraction between publisher emotion and social emotion. By this means, it can mirror the dissonances between the dual emotion. For emotion resonances, the values in the emotion gap vector are tiny, nearly zero. And now, we have got the three components of dual emotion features. Finally, we can compare them with the output features of fake news detectors for the final prediction of news veracity. Just now, I mentioned the emotion features extracted by attack. Specifically, in the paper, we rep represent emotions in these five types, emotion category, emotion lexicon, emotional intensity, sentiment score, and other auxiliary features. Among the five types, emotion category leverage the, uh, the external knowledge from pre-trained emotion classifiers, while others are extracted by the expert emotional dictionaries. 
combining them together, we can get the symbol level, word level, and overall level emotional signals for a text. Now, let us see the results. For experimental datasets, we choose three real world datasets in two languages, which to cover the different social cultural background, one in English and two in Chinese. The dataset Weibo Art. Weibo 20 is constructed based on Weibo 16 and is firstly released with this paper. In the, in the experiment, we select the two basic emotion features to evaluate the effectiveness of our two emotion features, Imoratio and Imorad. For testing the ability of the emotional, emotional features to help the text-based figures detectors, we select by GIO, BERT, and other state-of-the-art fake news detectors. To explore whether two emotion features are more effective than baseline features, we firstly use emotion features alone to detect fake news. We adopt a simple five-layer MLP and fit only emotion features into it. In Table 3, among the three emotion features that source from content, published emotion is more effective. What more? We can see the more improvements of social emotion and emotion gaps. Further, to verify the effect of every type of dual emotion features, we re remove one specific type every time. And the result indicates that, regardless of the removed type of emotion features, um, dual emotion features all decreases. Thus, it reveals the necessity of using five types of emotion features jointly. To explore whether dual emotion features can help improve the performance of text based fake news detectors, we plug it into the existing fake news detector. On Boom Evo 19, just as Table 5, overall, after using dual emotion features, the three fake news detectors are both improved a lot. Specifically, on the text based detectors by DRU and BERT, the use of dual emotion features both improves the performance more than EMOCRAT and EMO ratio. On the two Weibo datasets, overall, we can see that our proposed, proposed um, dual emotion features outperforms EMO ratio and EMO cred on any models in both datasets. The results is similar to the English datasets. We explore how effective the three components of dual emotion features are. We further conduct ablation experiments. We can see that among all the datasets, adding dual emotion features into the fake news detectors all obtain the highest macro F1 score. He said, compared with original fake news detectors, use any components of dual emotion features all enhances the performances of them. During the three components, social emotion and emotion gap matters more, matter more when detecting fake news. Finally, we provide a quality, qualitative analysis of dual emotion features. Take the detector by GIO on room EVO 19 as an example. We select three fake news pieces that missed the best original by GIO, but detected after using dual emotion features as an enhancement. In the picture, there are rich dual emotion signals in every case, such as emotion references of angry in the left case, of joyful in the middle case, and emotion differences with non-published emotion and sad social emotion in the red case. However, it expresses using emo ratio or emo cred do not help bad DIO detect readily for the three cases. It reveals that finding due emotion additionally sometimes is a remedy for the incompetence of only using semantics for detecting fake news. Well, that's all for my presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.
By the way, the source code and datasets have been released at GitHub. Thanks for your listening.